You ready to go? Yeah. Yeah? You excited? Very. Can't wait. Yeah. Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Tough and Cherry here. On this day, we're traveling from Marare, Zimbabwe, going for a late honeymoon celebration in Zanzibar, Tanzania. So, I hope you guys will enjoy the adventure with us. So, we're in Zanzibar, uh, we hired a car, so we're waiting for a car right now. It's quite cheap because, like, to get a shuttle from here to um, the place was like $40. But the car is at like $25 a day. So it works out quite good because you're going to save a lot of money. This is the car we just got. Very nice car actually. $25 a day. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this is 10,000. You know when you say have, 45, 45 this is equivalent to 20 US dollars, yeah. which is something like 18 pounds or something. Yeah. So this is Zanzibar. Uh... From the airport, our first stop was at some shop. Fortunately, it was still open where we managed to buy a SIM card for our GPS and navigation and then we drove for an hour to our destination uh, it was way after midnight so there was no way where we could buy food so yeah we just went had some street food and then afterwards we went to our little palace for the night Suzuki, right? As you can see here. But it has a key for the car. <laughs> Here's the key. It's a Toyota key. <laughs> uh, it's a Toyota. I, I wish I could speak Swahili here. Then I'll just tell them I'm a resident, you know?
check how much it is. You're eating all the time. Share. We're not going to get anybody. Finally, we arrived in Stone Town. To be honest, that's not the Stone Town we're expecting. The city ages back to 200 years ago and it hasn't been developed since then. So you can see from the infrastructure that it's a bit old. But nevertheless, we enjoyed every bit of it. <laughs> Thank you. Princess Alma. So the slaves lived in here? Yeah, that's the work every point in the market. These were the actual chambers where the slaves used to live in. Uh, that's exactly how it looks from how it was back then. Uh, they haven't renovated it in any way. And we continued with our tour. After the tour, we then decided it was about time to go and get to read for ourselves what really used to happen during the slave trade days. How slaves used to come from different countries and they'll be sold in Zanzibar as it was, you know, by the Indian Ocean and they'll be, you know, sold to different parts of the world. Part of the history also included how the slave trade world was then abolished in Zanzibar. Slave, slave trade exhibit. Uh, it was interesting, very sad though, but interesting. Take care. Bye bye. We decided it was time to get back to Bueju, where our hotel was based right by the seaside, and we drove back past Stone Town again. Sugar. Let me sandwich. Oh my word. I'm just gonna drink it because I bought it. <laughs> and it's really hard. After the quick snack, we decided it was too early for us to go to our hotel. So we decided to, you know, do a little bit of some research for the beaches nearby and we found one called Sunset Beach where tourists can watch the sunset. So we drove there. Hey! Wait, they're doing like
place is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. For 15 minutes. I'm not exactly dressed for jet skiing. Can we do it tomorrow evening? Can we do it tomorrow? We can do it today. We can do it going to our road. We do it anyway. Even if we get there. Let's go, babe. Mm. Yeah, this guy's trying to dig for a crab. It's gone. Where? I don't know. It's dug itself into a hole to hiding. Don't, don't use the force to hide yeah. because uh, if you use the force, you can break it. Yeah. Really okay, These ones are all for 5,000? No. Oh, okay. Let me try to make that one. Yeah, nice. Yeah. I don't know. Try it. It tastes nice. Like really? Gingery. Yeah, you put ginger. You, you see? How much? 500. Hi, good people. Charity taking over here. So this is day two of our time in Zanzibar. And here we got ourselves a guide for this day so we could go and do some activities, uh, water activities. Firstly, we were going to go swim with the dolphins, which was an experience we both had never had. And then after that, we were going to go and uh, do a safari blue tour where we get to see some corals and stuff. So hope you enjoy this part. How is it What's happening here? We just came over to the fish market and you know, there's plenty of fish here. Giant swordfish. I've just seen this stuff like on. Um, this is a giant swordfish. Yeah. I wonder how much it costs. So, this is the fish market. The fish are on auction. The guys are selling fish on auction. It's really amazing. Even the cats is here. You know, this place is full of life. These guys are cutting fish and it's really amazing, as you can see. Some giant fish here. Oh, wow. So I, I, I suppose these are fishing boats. They go into the, you know, into the sea, they bring the fish. And now the fish are on auction. And as you can see, it's really, really, really amazing. Guys, I just saw a hammer at Shaq. I'm just glad to see the hammer at Shaq here. She was supposed to be here to speak. Oh, this place is full of life. And I can see here the lake of a crab. You know, there's everything. You can find <laughs> crabs on the beach. It's right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
dolphins around here. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Where? 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 Oh, see an urchin. Urchin. No what? There he goes. Can you hold it? Yeah. It's, uh, I don't know. It's I very nice out here. This other one is growing, so I'm just going to throw it away. We're going to go snorkeling. Hopefully we'll be able to capture the underwater experience. It doesn't matter. You just float. Come back. Yeah.
to Zimbabwe. It's mm -hmm. been a wonderful experience. I don't know about you. Yeah, it's been really, really great. You know, yesterday I thought I was going to dream of dolphins. I didn't <laughs> dream of anything to do with the sea. But um, when it comes to the water, to the sea and the beaches, oh my goodness, Zanzibar is just amazing. It's yeah. really good. I've been in Cyprus. Uh, it's nice, but this is a different nice. It's a different kind of nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, really like, to those who want to fin visit Zanzibar, I'll, I'll I'll give my honest opinion. Okay, the the cities themselves, the cult, the the cultures, the people are wonderful. The yeah. people are exceptional. The local people, they're very very nice. Um, Except that one thing I didn't like about the locals is that you know the fact that if you know Swahili, you're better off. If you don't know Swahili, you're likely to be overpriced and almost everything except maybe fuel and stuff like that. But for and if you're going to superstores, you know, where there's if you're buying stuff outside, like on the markets, you know, they they, they overpriced, they really overpriced. Yeah. Mm. But um the, the the cities are very old, the houses are very old, the buildings are old. So don't expect to get sounds about and see like um wonderful buildings and, 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 and all that. The I think I think the city itself, the city Zanzibar, it's off the mainland of Tanzania. So um it also used to be a place where they used to trade slaves and stuff. So the city itself, like I read online somewhere, it hasn't changed over the, the last two hundred years. They probably have built a couple of other things but you can even see when you go to Stone Town itself, the stone structures and stuff, it's so old. Buildings are old, but the people are really nice. Uh, yeah. they're, they're, they're exceptionally nice. I don't think I've ever received such customer service anywhere else. And also, been. if you're somebody who likes, you know, uh, to you know mingle with uh, cultural diversity, yeah. most of the beaches, uh, you know, just next to villages like where local people live, yeah. the people here they mainly survive on fishing, the people that is on the beaches and agriculture. But there's loads of fruits. Yeah. There's when we talk like of agriculture we're talking of uh, fruits like uh, bananas, mangoes, uh, mangoes, pineapples, pineapples, pineapples covers, and tomatoes and stuff like uh, that. The hotels and stuff like the things you stay are nice. But outside of there they just they're just a bit aged. Uh, yeah, it's like you're in a different world. It's like you're in a different world. Yeah. It's like oh, when you're in the hotels and by the seaside, it's so beautiful, like it's part yeah. of this world. And you go out to the you people. You just get out of there, it's, it's different. It's just different. Yeah. But I guess but, the reason why people come to Zanzibar is because of... Yeah, there's so many tourists. Yeah. Like we saw so many tourists. Yeah. But I will, I will tell you this, the beaches and, and where the water is and where there's activities and stuff, absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Um, it's, in a nutshell, come to Zanzibar. Stunning. And yeah, it's cheap as well. Yeah, it's, it's doing much activities cheap. is cheap. I think yeah. we paid like uh, with bargain because stuff is the bargains for everything. We paid one hundred and ten dollars. Sounds like a lot, but we paid one hundred and ten dollars for two activities, which was like which is a full day. It's like, a full day. Full day, including uh, uh, swimming with dolphins. Yeah. Uh, include breakfast and lunch and stuff. Like the lunch was so nice, my dear. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Thank you guys for uh, being with us on our journey. Hopefully you enjoyed our vlog. We're still nervous in this game, so please don't judge us too harshly. Yep. May God bless you wherever you are and keep you. And we'll see you again on the next one. Anyway, we're happy. We're happy. So, anyway, bye. Bye, 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 bye. So, the next day, we were leaving to go back to Harare, where we were coming from. There weren't not that many people in the airport, obviously, due to COVID and the pandemic, not a lot of people are traveling. So we took our trip back. It was about three hours back to Harare. And thank you so much for you guys following our trip in Zanzibar and following our vlogs. If you're new here, please subscribe. And if you are a regular comer, please share our video, comment and let us know in the comment section whatever else you want us to record whether it be daily activities or topics whatever it is but thank you so much for you guys for following our whole journey and our adventure hopefully we'll get to record more stuff and travel a lot more after the pandemic is over and everything is okay but thank you guys once again 
And don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you.